Hi, hello there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing in the T92E1, the tier 9 American light tank. Been trying to find a tank I can master in this current meta and uh, been playing a lot of heavies on the old uh, the European Italian line that's been in, trying to remaster those, but not had much luck with them. The ace bar is just still ridiculously high. You're looking at about 1450. This game actually in the T92 is about the same same base XP so I, I'm pretty sure something's wrong with the uh, the, the ace mastery bases on those tier 7 and 8 tanks in the European line. There's no way the number of people are playing it are getting those high values. There's something wrong with it. Um, anyway, we're capping up here on, <laughs> on the A cap and uh, amazingly the T92 is probably one of the better tanks to, uh, to do well in and get those higher level masteries I'm finding. Um, played about five or six games in it and getting seconds first is very, very much easier than playing in tier seven with those uh, Italian heavies in tier eight. Um, let's go wait here and try and get some shots in as the heavies appear. It looks like we are bottom tier here on this one. So we've got um, the tortoise and the fan rake on our side tier nine. There's a dog tiger. An Obs 452 and a WZ132A. So they do have a light, but he's not come over to this far side here. He's uh, sniping from that midsection, so hopefully we can get some nice shots into him. Uh, they're, they're a nice tank, though, the WZ12A. Um, it's got a nice cannon on it, and it's, it's pretty accurate. Um, kind of wasted with what that guy did with it there. We do have a grill on our side and a Sheridan as well. I'm not sure where the Sheridan has gone. He's back over around B. He's trying to snipe some shots there. But I'm just going to work the ridges here. You can see there is a big 183 coming over this way. So hopefully we can draw attention to him. Just to play it easy. I'm finding if you play, especially playing ten, tier 10, you can do some aggressive spotting to start with. But it's best off playing second tier and... Uh, Trying to just get some shots where you can. Took a big shot on me there, didn't he? 1054! <laughs> but he's paid the price for him. He's in the middle of nowhere. All of our team are on that left hand side. Uh, 7 versus 5. The Jag Tiger is looking at me here. I can see him on the map. He's well, well spotted by the guys. He's taking a shot there. So we're safe to just poke ourselves out. He's retreated into safety though. Again, the E100 has come forward. We'll just take some shots. Oh, that's a bad shot, that wasn't it? Needed to let it nestle a bit quick, a bit more, really. I'm not sure. I'm not going to damage to my tank, but I'm not sure why it was so bad. But from this distance, I guess there's a large reticle. It can go wrong if range is not in your favour. As it didn't appear to be there, did it? We've got 2.2k damage on at the moment, but you just see here the. the the E100 is in a really bad position. We can just whittle him away. Just need to get him to down his sides. Just didn't manage, just managed to get away with that. Um, Judd Tiger's there though. Again, we can go forward and get some shots around the side. It's four versus three. They're holding out well actually. The E100. Judd Tiger though is going to go down one shot there. Got the ammo rack. Two kills. 2.5k. But we'll uh, we'll go around the back now. There's, there's the uh, WZ111. I'm gonna, I'm just going to go around right around the back. Actually, can we get a shot on the other one in there? We'll go around the back. Hopefully, kill off one of these guys before the rest of the team does. It's four versus two. They're both one shots. It's got a great uh, 560 alpha damage gun on here. There we go. Fire some HE just to make sure. It's one down, <laughs> three. For some reason he's talking with an English accent, my American crew must have an English gunner. And uh, <laughs> we got nearly 3k damage there. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I must, I'm must. i playing on uh, my uh, Microsoft installation here. For some reason Steam has given up the ghost on playing uh, replays at the moment. There we go, 2962, 1352, they've got the mastery, 26 ratings points and 160k take home, 128 take home and there we are on top of the tree on 4957 it's interesting it's for about 1460 the xp on this one uh, as i say it's similar to what you need in the p88 caro at tier 7 which is just ludicrous i'm pretty sure they've got something wrong with the uh, the masteries 
on those some of those lower tier tanks because it is absolutely impossible to master the majority of the tier 5, 6 and 7 heavies uh, at the moment. Here we are playing on the North American server back in the T92. This time on Normandy and uh, I'm going to go over and do my usual spotting run on B. See if we can see we are top tier which is nice on this one. There is an E50 on our side. They've got an E75, a T92 on their side as well. Oh, I've got them too slow. I just didn't want expecting them to be there. Uh, oh, I was, but I went too far. <laughs> it's put us at a bad start, this one. The T92 is around the side. This being the NA server, they tend to play this middle section quite a lot on this map. It's quite a bad place to go. It's that middle ramp there, but we are contending it as a team here. The T92 is there. Put one in, one for one. Low roll from him there, 283. He must have been firing a HE. I got a low roll at 496 as well, actually. Uh, it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. It's six versus seven. We've actually gone a tank down. T92's in retreat though. Our guys are pushing around. We've got the E50 and the IS8 and the uh, KPZ70 as well. The CRV. Easy for a quick kill shot. It's great for great for finishing off tanks. This one, uh, if you're doing a kill stealer, then uh, it, it's one of the tanks to be in as long as it goes. Of course, it's later showed, and it can bounce some crazy shots off the front of it. Just come back a little bit for me. Thank you very much. Nice second kill there. Only 1,300 damage, but we are can't take that much damage. Just make sure we go around the side here. It's six versus five. The uh, SMV is right for the taking there. It's showing the rear of his tank to us. Let's put another shot on him. 6.45, nice roll. Third kill in the bag. You can see there's an E75 over there, looks AFK. We are 6 versus 4. I'm going to go over and put some shells in the back of him. You never know when these AFKs are going to wake up. Actually, looking at this, 5 versus 4. Let's put another shell into uh, <laughs> the. Uh, the Obs 452 there, it's a nice finish on him, wasn't it? A nice ammo rack. 5 versus 3. We've got 4 kills on the board. We're looking good for the Radlers here. Uh, oh, the, the Razanai, if we can uh, get the next 3. It's an E75 here. Although, look at this, 4 versus 3. It's 4 versus 2. They've got a lot of HP. I'm going to leave him um, and go forward and try and help with the other guys. The T92. Did they, they had 2 T92s. I just didn't see that to start with. But we'll go and have a look. Only our KPZ has got lots of health. It's gone cap B. Let's shell into him. Use the ACPR. Again, 461. Getting our cap up B while really reloading. The uh, T92. I don't want to take the shell off him, so let's just forget about that for a second. But let's go back to capping. I say it's not looking too bad, actually. He's got quite a lot of HP. If the KPZ and the ISA gang are on that uh, T92, we should be okay. It's back to 3 versus 3 actually though, and they're both on pretty good HP. The T92, can we get a shell in onto him? Oh, look at that one. Should have done better with that. Should have really done better with that. I'm going to go and cap up C and try and finish off that WC with a long range shot. He's just parked out in the middle of nowhere, isn't he? Let's do some HE on him. Oh no, he's there. He's still not like he's moving, so. Fire that in. Hopefully, didn't do enough to damage him, but a uh, kill him. But it's hopefully damaged him. Yeah, he's on 130. Another one of those should do the trick. Um, not quite sure why he's just parked there. He's not the best player, obviously. Four kills. We've got the capping. Missed out on the uh, the Razanai though. It just got stolen by the IS8. Could have been really close, couldn't it? Four ver four one. Still, so hope we can get the pulls. We'll go forward with T92. IS8 is. Two versus one, two versus two, or the 75 is out of action. There goes the IS8. Seems to put a shot. Can probably take one off him. And he's on what, about 590? Hopefully, with a big roll, can maybe, <laughs> maybe survive. Let's have a look. It's one versus two. I'm going to go and try and cap if possible, though. We'll try and get win via supremacy. T92 has got to come for me, surely, but he's not got enough to kill me with one shot, I don't think. Let's just play. He's capping at B. It's doing the sensible thing, trying to stop the, the cap from going there. But uh, we can go around and hopefully do all oh, these. These. 
<laughs> E75's broken up. We didn't need that, did we? That's going to make it interesting. We'll go over. I think we're going to just have to cut this one out. Can we finish him off with one shell here? There we go. Got the 5 out 6 C cards. We've got the Radlays, which is nice. We're on two caps to one. This question is, we'll go far as wide as we can. I don't want that E75 to spot me. He's going to cap up A. But uh, I think we should be all right, just keeping C alive. Main thing is, on 25 HP, I don't want to let him know where I am. So we'll just keep moving around to the side and see. Uh, one thing about the E75, it's not very fast. So we know we'll be all right if we get, stay, uh, stay out of sight. I'm not going to go and try and recap theirs. Even if he comes to cap C, we still have plenty. We've only got a minute left on the clock. I'm just going to keep out of the way. Um, no point in stoking the bear and taking a shot when we don't need to. Let's have a nice drive through the countryside. And uh, stay over on this right hand side, hopefully. I imagine he must be going towards C. He's got to be. About 43 seconds on the clock. Go forward. Still not capping C. He might have, might have been able to get away with it if he'd gone over it, but uh, he's obviously not gone that way. So let's just uh, hide down here. Doesn't like he's coming over here, does it? Could have stayed in one place, I guess, but. If it had come that way, then it could have been ended in disaster. 1951 anyway. Seven seconds to go. He has started capping C now. <laughs> he might have caught If he had gone and caught C earlier, he might have caught me, you know. He might have done it. Uh, but there we go. Radley's and victory is ours. Along with the Ace Mastery. With a lot, a lot of damage on that game. We got... What do we get? 4, 8, 6, 4, 8 damage. 5 destroyed. 480. It was helped obviously by him being AFK for some of the some of the back there. We've got the Top Gun, we've got the Radley Walters, and we've got the uh, plenty of medals to share around. 193 take them, uh, 158, 193, uh, and and where we are, top of the tree there on 1731 base XP, which is a lot of base XP. <laughs> <laughs> Next game we're here on Fort Despair, this time I'm still on the NA server actually, we're going to go over to the left and see if we can spot some of the uh, enemy opposition. We've got a, uh, we got top tier which is nice, as an E75, a Leopard PTA, the Jetso C50 and an IS in tier 9, IS3 Defender, Rum, T44 and Tiger 2. Just taking a snapshot there, managed to get a shell into the back of that IS3. It's a nice start to the game. Pushed in too far, hasn't he? I mean, capping is, you know, it's an option, but he shouldn't really shouldn't be capping. And he's gone down to nothing, basically, for for no good reason. Um, American server does tend to play one way, as I've said lots of times. Can't quite get a gun over them. I normally go to the uh, the position behind me, actually, on this on this map, but uh, they've taken our rim out of the way. But we've got the Canavan sat there. They're not looking. That healthy though, the 75 looks okay. I wonder if we can put one, if he reverses up, we'll be able to get one in the back. Oh, he's going to go forward. Enemy is hit. Only track the Pajetto there. Be wary of the uh, the red team coming behind us, flanking, but we've got one guy marking out the middle there on A, so I think they're all this way uh, completely. I'm not sure where their meds are, the PTA and the. Um, we've damaged them. So they're on the T44. I'm not sure where they are. The heavies are part there. Uh, the T44 has gone to tackle. Oh, our Skoda over there. It's a triple loader, so I'm hoping you can take him, but we'll have a look and see how that's handling. Maybe we should go and help him, actually. Try and go across. Oh, there we go. There's a room. Come this way. Wait, Michelle, I'm going to not go out of the way, unfortunately. Oh, I managed to bounce it. <laughs> yeah, it's another one of the things about this. It is really OP, this tank. It, 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 it shouldn't be able to bounce a shelf on the WT, should it really? But uh, that, the reload killed me there. Could have quite easily got the kill for it. But uh, on 2k damage anyway, 5 versus 4. I'll get that XP for spotting him, I think. I think I was. Uh, 
I was the first one to spot him, so hopefully I'll keep that XP. We'll go over on the, the right hand side. See if we can clear out that PTA who was hiding on the shelf, wasn't he? We'll cap along the way though. I'm trying to get the mastery so it's more base XP you can get the better. I'm saying finding this a lot easier to get mastery medals in than those uh, Italian tanks. Uh, which I, I, I say I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with the, uh, the game in, in that regard. The levels of XP required to master those things is just insane, even three months after they've been you know, started playing. The PTA's gone around the back, but we should be able to do a nice mopping up operation here. We've got a couple of one shots. E75 is a two shot there, so we'll just finish off the Tiger 2. Hopefully, nobody will get the PTA before we reload. Just go through. He's going to go down, isn't he? Adrenaline on the air, he's rushed forward, he knew I was coming I suppose. Same as the E75, I'm not going to be able to finish him. Unfortunately there, we've got 3k damage. Um, got capping on B, but uh, should be a reasonable result anyway. There's a the victory. 3k as I say, one destroyed. It's 580 blocked, 5 damage there. We've got the Confederate, second class. And uh, how did we do that? 11,042 credits earned, 16 take home and we were second on the tree, 1224 base XP here we are back on um, my free to play account in the EU here playing on Ghost Factory the team has gone to A in a big way we're all that way, I'm going to help this T95 at the top, I've had a really slow start again um, not quite sure why my game does this quite often but actually I find that you do get good results from, from not rushing into places. Uh, sometimes the case, we'll put a bit of HE onto this uh, ground. Nice, oh, 664 damage somehow there. I wasn't, was not expecting that to, uh, to do so much damage, but uh, that's pretty amazing really. Um, go, I'm not going to get much I think, maybe there's a Bat chat there, we can put some shells in. I'm going to go around the right hand side and see if we can sneak a shot on him if he's just showing his top of his tank, which he is there. Again, should have let the, the, the reticle go right in. Um, it will range, will get you if you don't do that. I had a bit of extra, should have waited there. Again, let's see if we can go through these doors and can we get a shell on him? He's gone a bit further out now. Yeah, I had to take the snapshot there before it went straight in, but uh, managed to get away with that. Nice 514. Oh, I could cap, but it looks like they're pushing heavily, so I'm going to go around the back. I'm going to try and mop up if we can. Put some killing shots in across the field. So, range isn't against me. I've got the crown there. Again, maybe I should have gone in a bit nearer, but just managed to go between. <laughs> Didn't actually go between the gap of his. Uh, I mean, I couldn't have tried done that if I tried. To be honest, the gap of his body and the, and the back of his uh, his turret there it would have been better if I'd have gone a bit nearer. One eight three is there as well, the taking the shell off him, but not managed to pen him. Unfortunately, we needed to hit those two shots. It's not looking good. It's three versus three. Cran knows where I am. So hopefully, he's going to miss. One eight three is coming this way though. CC Mark II, go on the back, should be able to finish him with one shell. Hopefully the other guys aren't going to rush in and die. But we can certainly finish him. There's one down. Three versus two. We need to go through... Crown is there. It's a seven star player actually looking at it. It's quite interesting. We just need to stay alive. We need to get one more shot. Can we get one in? Should have tried the HE channel on him again then, shouldn't they? He's never going to get anywhere with that, but of course our guys have succumbed to those big guns. So hopefully... I don't think we can take another shell of him, but if we try and track him... He's just fired, isn't he? We can hopefully get out of the way of his gun before he reloads, which we can just... <laughs> Only just though! <laughs> we'll go back... Keep reversing, the crown's coming this way. We can hopefully finish this guy. We might have a chance. Here. 
might still have a chance. Never give up is the uh, <laughs> the cry. I've got two kills. Um, I mean, I'm gonna have to. Uh, two shots should take him though. If it, I can take one off him, definitely. There he's coming down. One shot down the side. Oh, close, close, close. He's got the second one into me as well. <laughs> I just managed to survive those two. I don't know how, but there we are on 78. I should really um, should have gone should have gone forward, mess that up. But uh, a nice game, never give up. I could have could have possibly won that if I'd have gone forward and gone around the back. But uh, thinking the wrong idea there. He had his three shells in the clip. Three one seven six damage, one destroyed, uh, assisted, four damage, two destroyed there. If those if that earlier shell hadn't have gone through, if I'd have gone forward, it's 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 losing by your mistakes there. If I'd have gone forward and hit that earlier shell, he would have been finished and it'd have been a different game. Um really should have followed my motto and gone and taken the easy shot, gone forward, made sure of that shot. Uh two shells went wayward and that cost us a game in the end. But uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video anyway. Um, say if you want to, want to get the mastery badges, get that T92 out and uh, take it out there. It is a lot more fun and a lot easier than playing those Italian heavy lines, uh, which I've not been doing that well in, to be honest. Um, 